Well, I don't have my camera stand uh, handy, but I thought I'd give you a quick update. This is the uh, halfway through the last packed phase for uh, turn three in my second solo playthrough here of the Third World War. And as you can probably see, uh, we're just looking at the results of a couple of attacks in the north. We've got an isolated way up the top there, an isolated unit. In fact, that should have been five to one, not four to one because he is isolated, but that's okay. What's a five to one? Yeah, he would actually be eliminated. So let's do that. Cause it was a, we were all the two. So he would take one D and a retreat. He can't retreat, so he's dead. So that's cool. Um, we had an attack down here in the center, which uh, didn't do terribly much. Same here where we bounced off of the forces in the rough there. And down in the south, we had a, a mixed bag of luck. We forced this unit here to retreat, the uh, Germans there to retreat out of the, the hex where the, uh, the choppers are or whatever they are. And since we're one impulse away from the end of the Soviet turn in turn three, it's looking pretty grim for the Soviets. You can see in the background that units that have the uh, disruptions on top of them are the ones that are not going to move this turn and actually these guys here. Yeah, he's got five, right? Uh, they're not gonna move this turn, they're gonna recover steps or disruptions. And the losses in aircraft are fairly significant for the Soviets. There are shot down American aircraft somewhere. I don't know where I put them on. There are, there's three there. Uh, so it's a bit of a beat down at the moment. And I think once again, by hook or by crook, I've managed to sort of hold the line for the third week. And we're seeing pretty significant disruption levels right across the board. Although in this time, it is a lot weaker down in the south. And if I had some decent reinforcements coming, they don't really come until turn, turn six. I think we could probably do something down here in the south because it's pretty thin and I've knocked out a bunch of uh, French units. So, you know, we, we're still gonna keep playing. I'm gonna finish this turn out and then we'll have a look and see what we wanna do with turn four. But it sure has been very interesting anyway. It's played very differently this time. Had a, a lot deeper early penetrations that were then stymied by the allied play or NATO play and I think I'm still struggling with the, the 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 rhythm of the dual impulse situation for the Soviet Pact and, and freeing up units that are decent to attack with for a second punch at a given stack of units on the NATO side. So you've got to move in, attack, ideally force someone to retreat or be eliminated and then advance through their hex and back out of the line of fire into a hex that is not in a zone of control. And that then allows you to move those guys in the second impulse. So for instance here, I can move all these guys here, this impulse, this next impulse for the Soviets, we can do that. Uh, I can't move any of these guys because they're all adjacent, right? So they can rally up and try and force their way in here, but there's nowhere to go. There's this one hex here, which it's got a defense of 12, and uh, a very high efficiency rating. So I'll be attacking at a minus one or minus two on the CRT before we even work out the odds. So that's that's brutal. Down here, I, I have very little uh, available to attack with because this attack here failed. We only knocked out. Uh, we, we all took one disruption each. Down here, we freed up these guys right here. But uh, and they... They actually have two each, I think. No, they have one each. I flipped it. Sorry for the wonky camera. Okay, so anyway, that, that's kind of what's going on. It's a lot of fun, very, very interesting, and uh, I'm still playing my vassal session of this, so I don't feel like I'm abandoning the game, but I also do have a, a, an interest in playing the Persian Gulf by itself as well, just to see how that would play out. Uh, that's a pretty nifty module. All right, I'll talk to you guys later.